Hello, it's 5.30 in the AM, about lost my voice then, and we're on day two of our little cycling tour. We're heading from Colwall, Colwall. I always forget where we are in the Mulvins, all the way to Bedgallet in Snowdonia, so we've got about 145 balonies and over 3,000 feet of going up. We're starting off with a hill. I was going to say 3,300. Yeah, so a lot. More a lot. And um, starting off with a hill, we've had porridge pots in bed, so we're ready, let's go. So this is what we're starting with today, a climb, no flat, just straight onto a climb. But look at the sky, I think it's going to be a nice day and hopefully no headwind today, just tailwind. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. We're on climb number two of 19 and today is going to be a good day. Blue sky and sunshine, what more could you ask for? Nearly done 20 miles, so 125 to go, which is basically a 200 kilometer road axe. A very hilly one though. You right, Kyle? By far the hilliest we would have ever done. Yeah. So we've done 27 ish miles, over 3,000 feet of climbing already. Feet, I can't really feel them because it's so cold in the, like, on the roads or water. Kyle's just whacking the snack then, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What you got? Might have a throw away. Throw away. Oh, bring me that. What a surprise. Thing. What have you got? A ginger and almond thing. Oh, another one of them. Mm. <laughs> Thought you didn't like that flavour. Yeah, grill on me, is it? on you, is it? I've, had, I've just had a chocolate one. But yeah, I'm loving this. I just feel so happy and hyper. I've just been singing. Like, this is what I love. Just touring, enjoying it, challenging yourself. Because it's not, you know, it's not an easy tour when you're doing this many miles. But I think yeah, whatever, it it's more the hills, yeah. But I think, even, like, don't ever compare yourself to other people. Like, if you want to go and do a cycle tour, just do, you know, 30, 40 miles a day. It's still just as good. It's just fun. Just do what you can do. But... It's the best ever, I love it. Welcome to Shropshire. Here we go. Right, we're 30 miles in and because we didn't have a proper breakfast this morning, Carl's just spotted a petrol station with the Greggs in. So I'm getting Carl a bacon cob, I'm getting a porridge pot. Carl wants a sausage roll for later and a coffee. Um, but then we're not gonna try to stop them for like 70 miles so we can get on the road a bit, but we just needed that bit of fuel because we've done a lot of hills, so. Greggs, not my usual place, not gonna be the porridge that I normally would have, but I'm, I'm embracing it. I'm going to have it. Oh, my neck, I've known, I thought Greg's was quick to get in and then get out. So it's taking so long. I said, Carl, I've not got time for bacon cob. So I've got my lovely steak Ooh. bacon set. I really did offer him, there was a bacon that. and cheese one, but you wanted that one, didn't you? Mm. And I got a nice porridge pot. I have to say, that porridge pot was absolutely lovely. So I'm not going to knock Greg's again for that. Yeah, and have one of them any day. And it was only seven squids for all that stuff we had. So saving the dollar there. Wow, look at this, it's beautiful. So pretty. This is the life. Had a little sheepies on the brow. You alright, Kyle? Oh yeah. Did your knee alright now? You had a knee issue, didn't you? Yeah, it's always up now. Stop now. Uh, like an idiot. I've had a bite for it, but like an idiot, I changed the seat on. Yeah. Um, we've seen what caused the problem. So now you put it back and it's all right. Yeah, now I'll put it back to normal when he feels perfectly fine. You silly Billy. But I've already caused a little bit of a niggle. Silly it's Billy. my fault, but hey ho. We'll learn from our mistakes. We do. 45 miles down, 100 to go. The sun is out. We've just got to top another climb. Carl's doing a wee as usual. But look at all these baby lambs. Oh, they're so cute. You can hydrate to elevate. <laughs> Oh, that is just like spring in a video. Is that your idea of heaven? Yeah, I love them. I just wish I could go a straight one. They're so cute. I reckon that's like a place for you, three in the middle, like beaches. Yeah, how many? There's not enough mums for all the lambs. I can see yellow flowers. They're radiating superpowers. <laughs> Make up random songs. I'm just feeling so happy. I've delayed. I'm warm. It's just after half nine in the a.m. So we're nearly 50 miles down and it's just so nice. I'm just so happy that we've done this for my birthday. Oh, yeah. I'm so grateful that we, we have the freedom to do this. So yeah, just feeling very happy, and very grateful. And that I've got this power horse to do it with. I've whipped him into good shape and he's stronger than me now. Keeping me on my toes. Just been through a place called Clun and there's Clun Castle apparently. There's not much plumbing left of it, is there? That's been attacked. This is the life. Well, hey, as the sign behind me says, welcome to Wales. We're going out of, we're in Shropshire, yeah. Shropshire. 
been to Wales. Montgomery ship. Cressu e Cumber. I don't know how to say it, but anyway, we're in Wales. You alright, Kyle? Yeah. Have a knee issue again. Knee really Is that right? We'll get going. When you get me to stop over there to come back. I know, because I went flying past the sign. I was like, Kyle, I've got to get the sign. Well, it's hard to sleep in, that's what it is. Sorry about that. Right, we'll keep going. I'm on climb number seven of 19 now. It's gorgeous. I need to put a bit more oil on my chain because we have put wet lube on our chains. I mean, we put dry lube on our chains and the road's been very wet, so it's making a not very nice sound at the minute, so next stop I'm whacking some more chain lube on. But look at this, it's what dreams are made of. Beautiful, hey, we're at the top, look at that. Hello sheepy, good morning ladies. Wow, we've got an incredible view coming Kyle. We need to stop for a photo. This is actually, I think this is the climb I did when I rode solo to Wales. Yeah. The descent coming is absolutely amazing. Carl wants to stop for a snap, but look at that. I've got a big yiffy coming up. Oh, wow. Actually, it might not, it could be. I get confused with where I am, to be honest. Are you stopping for a snap, Kyle? Are you stopping? Look at the view, it's just, this is just, oh. Makes me happy. Carl, meanwhile. That makes me happy. He's in a tang fastic Harry Go Heaven. Mm. That's great. You happy there? Mm. I'm just thinking whether to do a top. Carl, can you do a top of the hill dance? What? No, knees hurting, but. Okay, that's a good excuse. Top of the hill dance time. Oh, goodness me, my bike was a blooming ton. I swear it's got heavier. Top of the hill dance, baby. Hey. Oh. Didn't drop it. It's harder to do it when your bike weighs a blooming ton. We'll be yipping down here faster than ever with this weight on the back. Hello! <laughs> Time to go down. I'm just checking it's on. Oh yeah, it's on. Right, let's go. That's going to be a great shot of my face. Let's go down, baby! going through a little place called Kerry, a common English name, and also the place of a Welsh little town. It's all, not even a town, a little village. But yeah, I'm just loving life. This is, oh, the best way to spend a bank holiday weekend. I wouldn't want to spend it any other way. Although, having said that, if you, you know, if I was in Mallorca, that would be, you know, another option, but I'm happy here. Going up a big climb, don't know what's happened to the elevation on the gone. We're definitely not minus 29 feet, but we're going up a stiff, stiff one. So let's do this. This is a burner. Whew. Climb eight of 19. You're giving me some. You're giving me something to moan about. <laughs> it's a tough one. We can still go in. We get there in the end. A bit too hot now, actually. That sun's heating me up like a blooming tomato ripening for summer. Whew. Climb number eight, you were a burner, but there's no rest for the wicked. Climb number nine, here we come. A lot more red again, so getting ready for some burn. Burn, baby, burn. It's another climb ding dang done, and we're greeted with Sheepy. Hey, ladies, hey, lammies. Woo, that was a burner. Hello, motorbikes. Oh my goodness, we're coming to the top of climb number 10. I've just been zigzagging across the road because I try and make it easier. So it's a 17% gradient for what felt like forever. Car's back there doing really well but his knees hurting a bit so he's taking it nice and steady up the climbs but whew, I am hat hat I'm hot like a baked potato I could eat a jacket potato now actually a nice bit of tuna mayo and salt on it's my craving down we go hallelujah sweet sweet relief We weren't planning a cafe stop today, but we've realised we need something substantial. We're both just riding along, like my legs are shaking when I got off the bike. It's just so hilly. 
We've done 67 miles and we've just seen a sign for a railway, railway cafe. Now my dad loves trains, he used to work for them, so we'll be happy. It's one minute cycle away, so we're gonna go there. And fingers crossed it's open and there's something nice. Kyle's eating sweets, he can't bother to wait. Our saviour has come in the form of a cafe. Literally, Kyle, me and Kyle both getting a little bit grouchy. I was shaking, I was like, Kyle, I need some food, we need something substantial. We're like, there's nowhere to eat. Didn't have enough snacks with us, but we've just found a tea room at an old railway station, the steam railway over there. Booking office, Kyle. More like snacking office. Yeah, it's open. Hallelujah. Oh. So let's go in. Oh, yes, this is just, Kyle. I'm taking some cake for later. My dad would love it here. I bet my dad's been here before. Oh, yeah. oh, this is just what we need. Kyle, load on this floor, must not exceed, whatever that means. Oh, my load will be exceeding that after I've eaten that. Eating of which I'm going to eat right now. Oh, ice cream. How have they got dog ice cream? Kyle, sandwiches freshly made. Oh, look at all this. Kyle, I know what you're going to be having. Sausage roll. You've not eaten your sausage roll for breakfast yet, have you? Yeah, but I'll save that for later now. Oh, Welsh cakes, yes. Kyle will like that. Oh, no, it's alright. Oh, I know I've been here. It all looks so good. I'm so excited now. Yeah, I better go and look at the menu, actually. I'm getting too excited about the cake. Kyle's in jail. I mean, what have you got there? I'm an happy man now. Got a cappuccino because I usually swear by mockers, mm. but when you have too many of them throughout the day, mm. it gets a bit sickly. Yeah. So I've gone for a cappuccino and just get some coffee. And coke. I had a little berry drink, which was gorgeous. Yeah. Was craving a fluid. Yeah. And I am really happy because um, I was just saying I'm craving a jack potato with tuna mayo, and they do them. So that's what I've ordered. I've also got homemade barra breath. I love this stuff, which I'm going to put for in the room later after tea for a little nice after doing dessert or if I get hungry later I'll eat it later on the ride. <laughs> I've really been treated. Quick service. That was out within literally five minutes. Have they got salt? Because yes they have because I'm sweating and I need salt. It's lovely day isn't it? Oh there's no left. I need some salt. Right we'll try this one off that table. Yes there we go. Love this salt. When you're sweating you're losing salt you've got to get it in but Oh, yes. Do that down your gullet. Protein, that's what that's saying to me. It's saying energy to me. Mm. That good? Yeah. Mm. You want a food coma? Mm. <laughs> I've had my jacket of potato and balls to it. This I'll is going down now because I'm hungry. Carl, you've got an ice cream. That's my I'm going to feast, because that's what I need. You do need a feast. feast. We've had a feast. While he was in the queue, I, got, I, oh, I demolished my uh, Dora Brick while he was in the queue. You need it. It was. Yeah. Lovely. Very, very soft and moist. Raisins in there for a little bit of energy. Just what I need. Mm. Don't get too comfy, I've got plans to be doing. Mm. That cafe was just what we needed. A little pick-me-up. Getting the fuel in the body. Feeling good now. The next place we're going to stop is Bala because we know there's some shops there so we're going to stock up on supplies for the rest of the day and for tomorrow morning as well because there might not be many shops tomorrow morning in Snowdonia. So yeah, feeling good. We've got 66 miles to go and yeah, just loving it and enjoying it. Sticking on Kyle's wheel, the power horse. Hey there alpaca! We're actually going to go right past them Kyle. Hello alpaca! Yeah, 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 yeah! Meet, meet, meet! I don't know what, what sound do alpacas make? Hey, yeah? Mother-in-law. What's your mother-in-law? Oh yeah, my mum looks like an alpaca because of her hair. We always call her an alpaca. Alpaca! Hey, shall I have a wee while you're looking at alpacas? Oh, blooming it, yeah, go and have a wee. Gee whiz. <laughs> oh, they are cute, aren't they? We've literally done a mile. Please do not feed the alpacas, Kyle. Don't we in there, they might eat it. Hey, woohoo! Oh, it's gorgeous. Just went up another climb, I don't have a clue what number it was, I've lost count. Kyle was up there like a blooming Trojan horse. I was biting on my handlebar trying to keep up. Oh, I'm struggling with the female time and the dizziness is getting me. But we keep on going, we take our time and we don't let our mind beat us because my mind started saying I'm rubbish, but I'm telling myself I'm not. 93 miles and 9,800 feet of climbing so far, so a lot of climbing. I was getting a bit harsh on myself back there. When I get tired, I tend to be really harsh on myself and I've got a tendency to like put myself down. But I just have to remind myself that it doesn't matter how fast you go, it's just completing it that's the, yeah, and just enjoying it. And it doesn't matter if Kyle's faster than me, but yeah. We've got a lovely river beside us. 
We're going up through the woods. Blooming, we've got another blooming climb there. We just had to stop here at this viaduct. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. Pinny shining. She needs a hell of a clean when we get back. You right, Kyle? It's whipping out a snack. Oh, it's just so pretty and peaceful. And then this side, you know, yeah, trying to get them over. It's a, uh, like this, a viaduct. You can see. The car's lubing up. Chains was dry as a blooming bone. It's like I've ridden through, through the Sahara Desert on it. Yeah, it's bad. It's really yeah. bad. I'm so glad we bought the chain loop with us. I've got to do the same on mine. Look at the mud. You've had to do it oh. twice. I think I'm going to buy some wet wipes from the co-op to give my bike a wipe down, Kyle. Oh. It's gorgeous. We're heading towards Bala now. I'm really annoyed that I don't know what the name of that lake is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll have to have a look and I'll write it on on the video. Um, but yeah, it's just so gorgeous around here. It's so pretty and got a little bit of flat road. So that's nice because I know we've got a big climb coming. We're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling along. It's called Lake Vin or something. But Carl said he's calling it Lake Vinny because it's easier to say. So that's what we're calling it. Hello, sheepy. Holy moly. Ooh, bumpy, bumpy road. Hello. Oh, this is the life. We've got a lovely flat bit, but we're, we know this big climb's coming, so we're trying to make the most of it. Hey, hey, 100 miles down, 45 to go. It's a good feeling when you hit that 100 mile mark. Cloud's whipping along. The cod loins are burning, aka okay, the legs. But it's still beautiful. This lake goes on for blooming ever. One more mile. It's nice. One more mile Kyle says one more mile to the next climb. Climb number 13 of 19, here we go. 13 of 18. I mean, oh, it's on that. Kyle's got 18 climbs on his, and I've got 19, but taking it steady. Slow and steady wins the race today. Got a lot more climbing to do still, so got to pace ourselves. For a nice little track road. Nice and quiet. This climb's trying to kill us off. Oh. My goodness. I don't think my legs are going to the left. Gee whiz, the wheels are going to come off the floor. Oh. Oh God. I'm singing to strap from the pain. Ay, ay, ay. Rumba, rumba. Rumba, rumba. How is this yellow on the map? Oh. This is red or purple, Garmin. It's not messing with me. This is taking the Michael now. Oh, 1,200 feet up. And I don't know what percentage this is, but it's steep. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh no. I don't think I can do it, Kyle. My legs are dead. It's been an easy ski here. Not got any gears left. Just keep climbing is what I'd say. We're gonna make it someday. This ain't gold either. No, this is purple on mine to be fair. And it is purple. That means hard climb. Woo! Keep that climb was disgusting in the words of Kyle, wasn't it? Absolutely great. Note to self, never do this road again, but it is beautiful, look at that. Wow, love that horrible climb, but look at this, gorgeous. Oh, yee, bit of water on the road. That climb was heh, but anyway, we have entered, well, not quite yet, we'll go past this sign, I was spitting. Snowdonia National Park, and look at that. So, listen, there's nothing. Nothing but cars snuffling. I think Amy's tried to kill me, sir. <laughs> it has been hard, but. Oh, time to enter Snowdonia. We're gonna, we've got a little bit of a climb, half a mile climb, and then three wheel down into Bala, and then it's not far to the end from there, about 38 miles from there, so. And worse than too bad. Mm -hmm. The back of it said 3,300 metres on Garmin. That's not right. It's never, it's always dead low. <laughs> I should have said no, I'm not doing <laughs> Bella, here we come. Hello, blooming Louia. Woohoo, my legs are fried. Fried as a fish. Deep sea butter. Whoa, oh my god, this is really deep. Oh, I'm definitely stuck here for something. Oh, look at that. 
pretty. We've been straight across the Snowdonia Hills. down and 11,000 feet of climbing done so far aka a nick knacker we're in bala it's very busy carl's found a spot he's gonna get some more coke and i've seen a little bakery so i'm getting some bakery stuff for tonight I'm gonna get a cake for the hotel tonight and then something for now because i'm blooming starving see what she choose from so it looks lovely wow ended up with two apples cakes a biscuit for kyle which kyle i hope you're gonna like i thought it represented oh no the ear broke off I thought it represented your face, so that's mm. for you. <laughs> Don't know why it's in a bag. And I also got, while in Wales, Welsh cakes. Best in York. That's where we're going. That's where the hills are. Along we go. We've got sunshine and showers. Climb 16 of 19 now, and it's just gorgeous. The sun's come out, the rain stopped. And I'm just feeling so grateful to be able to do this. And like, just like this week at work, I've been not stress, it's been all right, but it's month end in finance. It's all like all really busy. And I get stressed about silly things like the washing and everything I have to do. And you come and do a ride like this and you just think, that doesn't matter. Just enjoy your life. We're just little dots in the world. No one's going to remember us in hundred years. So just forget about your worries sometimes and ride your bike and does your world of good. Turn right onto a road towards Festiniog. And this is just gorgeous. You loving it, Kyle? Yeah, so nice. So nice, isn't it? I've ridden on this road before when I rode to, we've got a caravan on the Lynn Peninsula in North Wales. So I've ridden on this road before, but it's Kyle's first time and it's just so beautiful. Pushing, pushing up. Two more big climbs left after this. And that'll be it for today. And I am ready for no more climbing. You all right, Kyle? Yeah, okay. Need a wee. I thought you'd need a wee, you and always do. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the break. God, I can't my clip. Oh. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Oh, stop it. Woohoo! Look at that sun, trees, greenery and freewheeling. It's just so nice. What a day, we've been so lucky with the weather. Look at that. I just love the peacefulness around here. When I'm on the bike, I'm just like a little child, but I really do get energy just from being outside in nature and the peace and quiet and just nothingness. But views and silence, it's just so nice. This is definitely my happy place. Give me countryside over a city any day. My dream has always been to have a countryside house with a real log fire. So that's my aim in life <laughs> but look at this it's just beautiful but you know i do like my hyper i do get very hyper as well when i'm on the bike i'll admit that but i also love just the silence of nature which i sometimes ruin with my chatter the sea in the distance and we're about to go on a big descent down a big yippee you enjoyed it, Kyle? It's nice, isn't it? Mm, Beautiful around here. Very nice road. It's a lovely road, I just love it. Nice oh, sun's coming out now. Yeah, Kyle's having trouble with your knee, aren't you? But you're It's a weird one because obviously it's my own fault for doing what I did. Yeah, it's changing It's a weird yet. one because it goes through phases of like being really fine. Yeah. And then other times I'll get back on the bike and it really, really hurts. Mm. Right, medicine for the mind.
doing six climbs to finish us off. I'll see you at the top. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. Hello, blooming Louia. I can confirm that was a one in six. I had to zigzag up the road to get up it. But it's done. Thank goodness. And now we're freewheeling, baby. Woo. Through those trees, you can just see a glimpse of Snowden with a bit of snow on the top. Hallelujah, we are here. I stink of sweat. We're at the Bed Gallet. No, we're at the Saracen's Head in Bed Gallet. All I want to do is have a shower and go for some food. Don't know about you, Kyle, but I agree. He agrees. I'm going to go in and get the key. That was a good ride. That was just an epic day. My goodness. So basically, they couldn't find our room key and stuff, and something happened with the room. So they've upgraded our room, Kyle. We've got a room upgrade. We've got to take our bikes around the back so we can lock them up. And we've got breakfast included. I didn't realise that. Hey. We've got a super king size bed. I'll be starfishing tonight, let me tell you. Kyle, was that far? <coughs> that is disgusting, he's always doing that. Yeah, Look, there's a bath, everything, we'll do my review later. But now one thing on my mind, shower and food. But I'm a bit upset because the earliest they serve breakfast is eight. We're gonna have to leave before that, aren't we? I think so. So we're not gonna be able to have breakfast here. I think so. But it's all right, well, we'll get some breakfast on the road. Kyle's sitting down for a minute. Oh. Kyle, don't get mud on the hand then. Oh, my knee. Oh, my neck. It's like coming out with a bloody pensioner. Ride stats are in. We did 146 Malones, or as other people call it, miles. 13,296 feet are going up. That's 4,052 metres, Carl just told me. So basically, a hell of a lot of going up. And I, to be honest, I absolutely love today, but there were some moments on this climb, and I was like, if another climb comes, don't talk to me. That one in six at the end, oh, my legs were burning. And we averaged 14 miles an hour, not that that really matters because it's not really about that, some people like to know. So we were actually riding for 10 hours and 27 minutes, but our actual elapsed time was 12 hours. Just over 12 hours. Just over 12 hours because we had an hour and a half worth of stops. A couple of food stops. A couple of foodie stops, but now I'm going for another food stop at the pub. Right, I've just been to the local pizzeria. Yes, I'm in the same outfit as last night because I'm packing light. I had a lovely falafel with sweet potato chips, hummus, carrot cake. Oh! I'm in heaven. Kyle had macaroni and cheese. Now it's time for the daily B&B review. Well, I'll start over here with snacks because I'm happy with this. A little bottle of milk. It's in glass. Hear that sound effect? It means it's proper quality. Top quality. So. Also, we're not going cheap here. We got you got your Gary Baldies. You got your creamies. They've even catered for all oat milk. Not that we're going to drink it, but actually Kyle might. Yeah, I do like oat milk. I'm that now. And bottled water and they're both still, which is what we like right oh, here. Oh, want me one of them over here. Oh, what we want over here. Yeah, I will want you one. Right, come over here. The bed. Amy, can I just stop The bed, there? yeah? <laughs> you, you blend in with the wallpaper. <laughs> I've it. The bed. Silk. Fit for a king and a queen, I say. Now, let me just... Oh, you sink it. You don't bounce. You sink. Would you feel the pee? I wouldn't feel the pee under it. I'm sinking like I was sinking down a hole in my mind going up those climbs earlier. <laughs> right, dressing table we've completely demolished. Yeah. But I do have my crunchy apple that I'm going to be eating in bed. This is the one Kyle chose, but I've stolen it because it's better than the other one. Um, Kyle's eaten his biscuit. Half. But I love this. I'd give this, you know, a solid 7 out of 10 because you've got a nice space here. But the only thing is there's no straighteners. So, sorry about that. Um, Strainers? What the hotel have you been to? I'm thinking luxury, yeah. Right, now this, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. You've got your bath, you've got your bay window, you can have a book on there, candles. You've got a toilet that's lovely. Walk-in shower, which is hot, with a capital H, just what you need on the loins after a day like today. And that's all I can say, really. The view's lovely out the window, you can't see it because it's dark. And the carpet, oh, carpet, it's lost its bounce. But I do like the colour because it hides the mud that we're getting everywhere, so... To be honest, I don't want a springy carpet, so the way mine is... So overall, and do you know what, this is what gives this hotel a 9.5 out of 10. You're not getting a 10 unless you're literally flawless. Because we've just spoke to them, they're going to set us up a little table downstairs with cereals and cold stuff and all that for breakfast in the morning because we can't stay for the cooked because it's too early. But the sort is out and beats the fast breakfast. So I'm happy with that. Carl, would you like to add anything? Um. I, I like the pictures. I think the pictures are really nice. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of when we uh, descended Snowden once down a similar looking path. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, no, really happy. It's very modern. Mm. I love this paper. 
You can have second night, second yeah. thoughts if you think we're having that team. Yeah, I like it. Spotlight to the ceiling. Yeah. So you could do a red carpet walk with that. Yeah, I'm happy. He doesn't need to lay on the bed now and actually decompress. Yeah, we need to decompress the day. So yeah, we'll say thank you so much for watching. Next up, tomorrow we're cycling home 127 miles. We've just locked when we're eating. We've got a headwind all day. But we're going to try not to think about that now. Car's throwing up charges around. Right, thank you so much for watching. TT to the FN. Goodbye. Goodbye. I just had to come back on for this because honestly, I lay in here and I was speechless. I mean, sinking in is another feeling on another level. I feel like I'm lying on a pearl clam and that's a good thing i'm just my arse feels good my feet feel good everything feels good i can't feel anything i'm not i'm not floating you know my first first thought when i climbed that bed yeah my butt cheeks so good mm. it's almost like sitting back in my brook saddle <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i'll leave you with this lovely photo of me in bed because <laughs> let me tell you one thing i'm gonna sweet slip into sweet slumber tonight don't worry, chap, she looks worse in the morning. Hey, <laughs> good night.